All right, I have noted down the build challenges. So we've got main library in the city, uh, only using wooden tools when building it. Um, we've got build a colossus overlooking the sea, build with the monitor display upside down, build in pitch black, build a bridge using only four types of blocks. Which one? Hmm, I really don't know. <laughs> I'm really not sure. We might just have to use a random number generator and just pick from one through five. I did did the random number generator. It's number five. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, build a bridge using only four types of blocks. I do want to try and get around to doing all of these. Not all in today's episode. This, I think I actually want to take out of the challenge. Uh, the main library. And I, I'll tell you why. So it's not that I don't like it. It's that I think I need more stuff for it. And I want to dedicate a whole thing to this. I've got basically, I've got an idea. So it's like this building here is meant to be sort of like a library. You can't tell because it has no interior at the moment. But what this could be is like maybe like some scholars hall or something where just the scholars meet. Because it was gonna ha it's going to have like tables in here, like bookshelves and all that stuff. And I think I do want to do that, but it's not, it's not very big. It's got quite little space. So maybe this is like the, the scholars hall or something. And I think I really want to dedicate some time to that library. And I really like the idea. We've got all this space. And I'm thinking what we can do is make like a really big library, maybe over here, fill up a giant amount of space. And then we can really decorate that inside with loads of bookshelves and whatnot and all that. Now we have a little sugarcane farm just over yonder where we can get all the paper and stuff. I don't really have anywhere to get leather. So that's not ideal because you need leather to make books and you need books to make bookshelves, obviously. So what I wanna do, I wanna build a, a place to have some cows that makes sense so that I can kind of breed them up and get leather and all that stuff. But in order to breed up cows and get leather, we need loads of wheat. And I've got my little hidden farm over there. And as, as good as it is, it's not going to be enough. However, I've got this water here from this oasis. And what I'm thinking is we can turn this bit of land here that's next to the oasis and next to the path and next to the wall to being a big wheat farm and what we'll do is we'll use sort of like seeing them in assassin's creed origin kind of like dams the water and maybe you lift it up and it puts the water back in and you dam the water to keep it there so you're like mini aqueducts of water that will come through and be able to use this area for for farming and um, that means we can build up, we potentially build up a little windmill as well. Like we've got the Asbad over there, but like another one, just a bigger one. Actually, do we need another one if we've got the Asbad? We could have, I think we could have another one. It doesn't hurt to have more than one of the same thing. We've got loads of houses, <laughs> so that doesn't hurt. So we can have like a farm here and then the Caravanasarai or however it's said. I can put some cows up there as well, so we'll have to build that up soon. So I'm thinking the next episode, I'm going to get some time to design up this little wheat area, this farm area. And we'll plot out where the Caravanasarai will be in the episode following that. So we've got, we've got a good few episodes set out in, in front of us. And then the giant library will take up some time. It's challenged me to change what I was planning, and I really like that. It, this is going to be tough because I'm not very good at um, organic shapes, so I'm going to have to do a lot of practicing. Shush. A lot of practicing in the background before I can nail that one, unless we make it look like a Minecraft character, in which case that can be fun as well. So that's going to take some practice. I do want to get around to it. These two just seem crazy, and I love it. <laughs> so I'm excited to do those, and maybe that could, could be brought into just a random episode here and there. We'll just, like, if we're building just a house, we'll just build a house upside down or something, or we'll build a house in pitch black, and we'll, we'll see what we get. I'm thinking this one could really lend its hand to building some some ruins because if i can't see what i'm building who knows what's going to happen <laughs> i don't know how i'm even going to show this on camera how will i show me building in pitch black like how will that work if you've got any ideas of how i can get that to work and be really good on youtube let me know because i'm intrigued by that one this one should be fairly easy i can just flip my monitor upside down and just get really just messed up with my head 
I was running around like crazy thinking, I can't think of anywhere where I could bridge. I literally have a path in my city that just leads to the water. That I must have at some point have gone, I could bridge this. I could bridge this over. So, yeah, here's our bridge. This, well, well here's, here's where our bridge will go. So long I spent, just so, so long trying to find this spot and I already had it and I'm just going to go straight over at an angle, let's build a bridge, it took me far too long to figure out that I had this space here. <laughs> oh, they just, all that, uh, we got over by one block. We just like that's just the center, so I don't know how wide it'll be. Like, maybe it's just that that seems wide enough. We can send that across, we'll send that across to be over there. And oh boy, right, let me get let me now get this idea. Dude, so loud, right? Ah, let me get designing. Um, I don't even know how long this is. Um, right, I've got some work to do. 33 blocks long, so I have design. 33 blocks long. This is gonna be expensive. Alright, so I know it's not really much to look at yet, but trust me, this is gonna get really good. This is the start of our our bridge. So it's just it's a fairly simple design. When I, I I did some research into bridge designs that would fit into ancient Egypt, and a lot of them were quite flat, which annoyingly if it had just been across here would have been very boring and I wanted to get an archway in and I found one online, some uh, a bit of art from Assassin's Creed Origin and yeah it's one that it's got got the cool designs, it has sunken in arches, but I'm gonna like slightly raise them and I'm gonna have some cool details going on here but it's basically this shape, I'm missing some there, it's basically this shape and it looks it looks really cool so imagine there's two of these on each side, I'm missing it there but I need, what is that, that'd be three and then this, I need let me, all right, let me, right, um, let me fill this bit in because then I can say that I've used up all of the sandstone that I need to use up, so, uh, uh or like the sandstone block, I just, yeah, uh, I just, um, I'll get back to you. Actually, speaking of using up all my sandstone, that's it, that's all i got left, i got three, so, um, I'm gonna go, go back to mining, I was mining for quite a while, yeah, right, um, I've got to get more, I'll be back in a bit. This is this takes up a lot, and the thing is, I'm gonna get some back when I add in details because I was told I could use whatever palette I want, so that means I can change the color of these blocks to get our texture in, which is good because then I can save on sandstone. Not that there's like an abundance or anything nearby. It means I can add in my details and I can add in my pops of oh, not sure about pops of color, but I can add in my sort of my weathering from the, the birch and the oak and the sand. That's good, those aren't block types. Those are colours, if you will. I took block types to mean, and I think I got this confirmed, I took it to mean that I could use four block types, so like full block, half slab, stairs, and walls. That's it. I've designed it with those four, and I can choose whatever palette I want, so I'm going to add in like extra colours and stuff, but at least extra shades, and I think it's going to look really cool. But I can't do that until I've gathered more materials, so uh, I'll be back in a bit. Alright, I have gone through and I've added some slabs. So that's block type number two. So all of this pretty much is slabs, except for like right in the middle. So there's slabs on both sides going down. That lovely. There are slabs underneath here where we've got the archway. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Oh, it is. Oh, Lovejoy, you've done it again. You've done it again. Yeah, these are the only blocks that are full blocks inside the actual halfway of the bridge. And yeah, so now it's now it's time for walls. Now, one thing we're going to be doing with the walls is not that. <laughs> one thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be lining the sides with walls, just like so. And that will go all the way through on both sides, adding in some sort of railing and support. And then we're going to put slabs on top of those. Um, but we're also, what we're going to have, we've got like a one, two, and then it will come down like like so. I'm going to need a lot of walls. <laughs> I can already tell you that. Wow. Oh, no. That's the wrong block. Oh, I'm out of food. Oh, that's not good. 
I'm going to starve to death. Yay! So we're going to come through and add in these blocks like this. And then I think on this one, it's... Yeah, it's like this. And then I'm already out of I'm already out of walls. We're just adding in a bit more depth and detail, and then that's really going to pop when we add in the extra colours. So the extra the detail of like the darkening near the bottom, and then those walls are really pop, and it's going to make it look a lot more detailed. But it already looks pretty cool in my books. So that's that's why I said like they've got these archways that were sort of embossed in. I can't really do embossing on a 45 degree angle. Was it? If it was a 90 degree angle, I'd be able to do it. But uh, I decided to build at a 45 degree angle to give myself even more of a challenge! Yay! Uh, we do get this fun effect of where there's a torch underneath there. So uh, yeah, that's a bit weird. But anyway, uh, I'm going to go to sleep and I'm going to make some more walls. I'm going to finish this bit off and I'll show you what it looks like after that. Um, I'll be back when it's daytime or maybe nighttime. It depends on when I uh, decide to start recording again or when I finish the thing. And uh, I'm just going to keep going until my words uh, run out and uh, I have nothing left to say that is uh, sensical. Sensical? Well, there we go. That's the end of it. All right, there we go. I uh, I went through and I just I finished it. Not with the hey. I am trying to. Oh no, I'm hungry. No, ah, they're hurting me. No, leave me the ah, No, leave me alone. No. Ah. <laughs> well, there we go. Now we can see it in the daytime. I'm less be being attacked less by everything. I'm eating rotten flesh because I'm out of food. I really need to build that wheat farm, so that's definitely next episode. But yeah, this is the shape of the build. It only uses four blocks, four types of blocks. Got half slabs, walls, full blocks, and stairs. Stairs are only used 32 times. I counted it. But yeah, it is quite samey with the colours because I just wanted to block it out first so I knew what it all looked like. But now I, I want to go through and add in all those those extra details that we have. Just the other kinds of colours. I can't add any extra details like buttons and fences and trapdoors because those are other block types. They're other types of block. So can I do that? So I'm going to change my colour palette. Well, I'm going to expand my colour palette. But I just thought I wanted to show you what it looks like from here. And this... I think it's a really cool shape. As I said, I did quite a bit of research into what, what the bridges might look like. And yeah, as I said, they're quite flat. I gave it a little bit of a, a like a step up so that, you know, we've got some interest. But then, yeah, these these little structures is the best I could get to look like some kind of cool pillars. And they've got our kind of obelisk topper again all over the place. This is cropping up. Still not as good as whoop, up here, I still think. This is so cool, and I love that we can see that from so many places. Um, but I like incorporating this sort of design. We can see it's kind of been done here, slightly squatter. It's not been done there. It has been done behind there, though. I'm liking all of these towers popping up. It adds a lot of height variation, and I think it's really cool. So, yeah, I really like these. They're kind of, in my head, they kind of look like... You'd have to imagine like an ornate flower head. Uh, so it comes out and then goes up. And you've got like a spiky bit and then it comes back down. So that's what I'm thinking I'm imagining they are. They're like a, a, a an ornate carved flower head. Um, you've got to have, you suspend your feeling of belief. And and yeah, and I think you can really kind of see it. And I think this looks really cool. And I'm really happy with this. I've, you know, designed this in a day and this is looking pretty cool. Come together quite quickly. It has taken me three trips to my little quarry. And you can see this is this. This is. Oh, it's not looking good for that pick. And I'm going to need to break a lot of these blocks to place new blocks. Oh boy, why why do I build this way? Why? Why? No! No! Well, I build this way because it's just easier for me, personally. Some of you might be like, just build from the, the, the set of colour palette. Nah, not for me. Not for me. I'm num 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 num. Anyway, um, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna add some colour variation. And we'll be right back. I don't know if you can tell, but the building inspectors have just been around the area. I think they've approved the buildings I did. They were they walked away going, Yes, I think this is a very splendid idea of where they could put this uh, new upcoming wheat field. I think it'll be an absolutely splendiferous place, location. Now let's go and look and how this building of this bridge is going. Oh yes, I think we should take a shortcut underneath the build. Uh, I don't think this is the way to go, Jeff. No, it is the way to go. Don't worry, just stand here and let's just stand. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Very slowly. What a weird bunch of people, you know? What a weird bunch of people.
There's a bridge right there. Why aren't you using it? Like, I've literally... It's just... It's right next to you. Why aren't you using it? You fool. Looks like the building inspectors didn't like me. Yay. Great. <gasps> He's figured it out. Look, there's a bridge. Oh! Wait, no. He might just be stuck. Oh, I don't know. Hang on. Did I fill in the... the I didn't... I filled that in incorrectly. I went down here to pick up a block and I filled the gap in incorrectly. And now I'm stuck. Oh, I can see why I filled it in incorrectly. Because it's the only way to get out of this place because we're getting stuck here and you're just flinging, flinging. Oh, just. Oh, it's just. Wait, did you go up the bridge? No, you went over there. Oh, for goodness sake. All hell breaks loose at the bridge and. Oh no, the commentator is being attacked. Ah! I really need to light up this city. I panicked when recording just then and there. Uh, <laughs> there was like three creepers in the city. One of them was chasing me. I, I panicked and hit the record button against us. So, oh my goodness, there's more. Oh, yeah, I really need to light this place up. This is just hellish. I'm slowly lighting up as I go, but apparently not like, not well enough because there's, I, I apparently haven't lit up any of this area because there's like, there's like three, four creepers down there. Oh, ah, ah. <laughs> it is done. I've added in my extra extra details of just the colour of the palette uh, with the sort of weathering from these other blocks in there. I think this bridge looks awesome. I am really happy. Ooh, really happy with how it turned out. Ooh, <laughs> extra blocks. <laughs> yeah, I'm so happy with how this has turned out. I love these little pillars with the... The curved, uh, the carved flowers, as I'm calling them, on top. It's like a giant thistle, which is very Scottish for an, a, a for a desert style build. But oh well, you know, maybe some Scots made their way out, all the way out to the desert back in the day, and they settled in these lands, picked up their customs, and built some thistles. I don't know. Maybe that's what they did. Who knows? But yeah, I really enjoyed doing this challenge, and it really made me do something I wasn't expecting to do, like a build that I had no plan on doing. I just planned on the road ending here, I suppose. But I really like how it's come together. I think in the future, I think, because this is going to be on the side where it will line up with our little dock area, we might be able to put some little dock things in this side, maybe like some little storage blocks around this area, but that's not part of the build. It's not part of the bridge, so I'm not breaking any rules there, am I? I'm so happy with the, how this has turned out. Let me know what you think. Who challenged me with with this? I believe it was Sandy. Um, did I do good? Did I complete the challenge in the way that you expected? Properly? Or did I misunderstand the, uh, the blocks thing? <laughs> and to everyone else, did you like it as well? Uh, if you did, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the like button as well. Why not? You know, let me know what you thought in the comments. And uh, let me know if you're excited for the big the big library build. The big project build that we've got coming up uh, and the wheat field in the next episode. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.